Old photographs are a reminder of the times that have gone by and captures experiences that we shall never get to live due to how much the world around us has changed. But for those of you who are fond of living vicariously, here is a collection of 40 vintage photos that show way too much and will transport you to a different time and place. It is none other than Kathy Ireland, a stunning supermodel from the 1980s who appeared on up to 13 consecutive Sports Illustrated swimsuit covers. I'm sure you can guess why, seeing this photo of hers with a baseball bat in hand, ready to strike. Charles Langs introduced a daring beachwear innovation in May 1949, a set of district strapless cups that a woman could stick to herself with a specially formulated adhesive. This once-in-a-lifetime photo was captured by USAAF North American B-25 Mitchell bombers flying near Mount Vesuvius during its eruption in March 1944. American-born French dancer, singer and actress Josephine Baker can be seen here, performing in Paris in the 1920s. It's no surprise that she was quite controversial as a black woman who often performed in such risk outfits. What you might not have expected, though, was that she allegedly served as a spy for the French resistance during World War II. If someone was wondering about the most bizarre beauty pageants ever held, here is a woman posing with an x-ray of her spine after being crowned as the International Posture Queen in 1957. This photo, taken during the filming of Bill Durham in 1988, shows the head turner Susan Sarandon posing on a balcony, topless and barely covered in a blazer. Charles Manson was an egotistical psychopath, also one of the most well-known serial killers who actually persuaded a group of people to bloody their hands on his behalf. The picture shows three of his followers, popularly known as the Manson Girls. The 1975 movie Jaws became such a blockbuster hit that it quite literally launched Spielberg's career. It is obvious then that Spielberg made friends with this fake great white shark, whom he lovingly named Bruce. This next photo from the early 1900s depicts the ornately arranged skeletons of Rome's crypt of Capuchin friars, believed to contain the skeletal remains of 3,700 bodies. Linda Carter shall always be remembered as the very first Wonder Woman, but she was also crowned as the Miss World USA of 1972. Princess Diana's revenge dress was truly iconic, as the late Duchess showed up in the revealing ensemble at the Serpentine Gallery Gala in June 1994, the same night that Prince Charles confessed to his affair on national television. This photo, where Marilyn Monroe is smiling quite candidly at the camera, was taken in July 1932 and is one of the final photos ever taken of her. Jamie Lee Curtis earned the moniker of Scream Queen in the late 1970s due to her iconic roles in horror movies. Looking for a change, she opted for more comedic roles in the late 80s. While it's quite understandable that Elvis Presley's performances caused the audience to scream and shriek, the teenager captured in this photograph is definitely having a time of her life at a live concert. In the next frame are Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, who were virtually inseparable since meeting in 1966 before joining Fleetwood Mac, a controversial yet one of the most iconic rock bands of the 70s. This picture from the 1900s depicts a salesman's collection of glass eyes circa 1900. While it may appear disturbing, ocular implants were used to replace the natural eye's decreased volume while also allowing the artificial eye to move. Franz Reichelt, an Austrian inventor, fell to his death from the Eiffel Tower on February 4, 1912. He jumped from the tower, aiming to demonstrate his new low-altitude parachute, which failed to rescue his life. This is a snapshot from an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where Rogers soaked his feet in a kiddie pool with guest star Francois Clemens. In 1969, this was nothing short of a controversial and brave stand to take during the American Civil Rights Movement. Billy Joel is seen in this 1975 photograph as the true troublemaker that he used to be, chilling with a cigarette and a drink next to a sign forbidding public drinking. The next picture is from the 1980s, which shows Queen's lead singer Freddie Mercury with his former wife and lifelong supporter and best friend Mary Austin, who stayed by his side till his last moment. Barbara Bach is known for playing the Bond girl Anya Amasova in The Spy Who Loved Me. In the frame for the next photo from 1969 are members of the biker gang Hell's Angels. They had made an appearance on the Isle of Wight for a huge rock music festival. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is actually an advertisement from the late 1800s for a cocaine-infused toothache remedy for children. Although it is banned now, chloroform Cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine used to be offered as solutions for a wide range of ailments, from sore throats and toothache to coughs, insomnia, and even depression. 
gay men are posing for a photo with full enthusiasm while being detained at a police station for being homosexuals in this snapshot from Mexico, 1935. This picture of KISS member Paul Stanley was taken backstage during one of the tours and the charisma of the star child is evident even in a black and white photo from 1975. The 1895 sci-fi show Weird Science showed two high school nerds who create the perfect woman, Lisa, with the help of a computer program. And after all, nobody can deny that Kelly LeBrock was literally made for that role. If you find modern surgery nerve-wracking, then you'd be horrified to know that in 1855, even major surgeries like amputations were performed using ether as anesthesia. There are only a few who are blessed with movies like Jagger, and even few with so much swagger as a young teen. This photo from the 1950s proves that Mick Jagger always knew he was going to be a star. Karen Allen was a seasoned performer of the theatrical arts before she landed a role in the first Indiana Jones movie, which was a big break in Hollywood. It definitely seems like we have spanned centuries since this photo was taken in 1942 in Brooklyn, capturing high school students who were protesting the dress code after 16-year-old Beverly Bernstein was suspended for wearing slacks. This snapshot from 1966 shows a sailor meeting his 7-month-old baby after 14 months at sea. Unfortunately, it seems like the baby was tucked aside while her dad was busy greeting her mummy. This is Cassandra Peterson's portrayal of Elvira, a goth, sardonic valley girl. This became one of her most widely known characters, first introduced in Elvira's movie Macabre. This picture shows the family of a soldier rushing to welcome him home as gunner Hector Murdoch had spent over four years as a prisoner of war in Singapore. During this time, his wife Rosina and son John had no clue whether he was even alive or not. This funny yet mesmerizing photo of a beautiful young woman donning a wine barrel over her swimsuit was taken in the 50s. Bob Hope was really determined to go to Vietnam to perform for the troops and boost their morale. His persistent efforts finally came to fruition, and here Hope can be seen with Joey Heatherton entertaining the troops in Vietnam in 1966. James Khan is seen here having a smoke and relaxing in full costume and gory makeup between takes of Sonny Corleone's death scene in The Godfather. Just the explosives used in the scene to blow up Sonny's car were worth $100,000, and there is no question that this scene is hailed as one of the bloodiest and the most well-shot deaths in history. This vintage photo featuring Barbara Eden's portrayal as a genie in the sitcom I Dream of Genie shows just how strict the broadcasting rules were in the 1960s that she was instructed to keep her navel covered while bearing her midriff. Here is a picture of a young Ivanka Trump with her father Donald in the back of a limo. This photo was taken way before he was elected as the 45th President of the United States and she stepped into the role of his senior advisor. This snapshot from 1962 shows Ursula Andress in the role of Honey Rider in the film Dr. No, the first Bond girl to appear on the big screen. However, Ursula's lines had to be dubbed because of her thick German accent, but the visuals are surely second to none. This ethereal goddess is Rita Hayworth in Salome, a 1953 biblical film. While the movie itself did not win much acclaim, the most remarkable performance was Hayworth's rendition of The Dance of the Seven Veils. That's all for this time, hope you enjoyed watching it.